everybody welcome back to Cherie James Real. so today's location is somewhere different I am in my bathroom actually so that is the noise that you hear above me which is why I'll be trying to speak as loud as I can so you guys can hear me because our exhaust is really loud but today's video I will be reviewing Huda Beauty's skincare line well some of the products that I have because I don't have everything but I have the wishful as can see and that is her skincare line called wishful it's very cute uh, I believe the packaging is very very simple says what it is on there um so I have the yo glow enzyme scrub and a jelly moisturizer the honey balm jelly moisturizer and the get even rose oil so I got like this little mini, well not like mini, but like the smaller size and it came with a pack of all three of these and I got it from Sephora. And I will insert the price in here so you guys can see just in case if you guys want to get the little small size before committing to a bigger thing. Like for me, when I order skincare, I like to get the smaller size first and see how it does on my skin because I do have very dry skin and very sensitive skin. So I don't want to go ahead and purchase like some of these products that are like $50 and I can't even use it and it's not really good for my skin. But when Huda came out with these, I was like, okay, I like it and I really want to try these. So that's what we're going to do. So for me, I like to get like a wipe and just wipe off my face before I go ahead and with my skincare routine. So Now this, it's not a like a, a cleanser, like a regular just like a uh, moisturizing cleanser. It's a scrub. So unfortunately it doesn't have like instructions on the back, but from what I read on the website, you just take a little dab and scrub it onto your face and it just kind of just like starts to really work up the dirt and then you just wash your face off of. It has a pineapple enzyme, a papaya enzyme, AHA and BHA. Now, if you do follow Huda Beauty or Huda on any of her social media accounts, she does actually thoroughly go through how to use all of the products. Like I said, there's not really much on the instructions on the back, but you can follow her on her social medias and you know she has like a full detailed instruction of how to use these. So I'm going to go ahead and get into it now. There is a scent to it. I necess I don't really like scents when it comes to like skincare on my face. Or if it does have a scent, I don't really like it to be very overwhelming. And to me, to me this is. Um, if you are somebody that doesn't really like scents or strong scents, I wouldn't suggest that these products would probably be the best for you. Now, I'm not saying that the products are bad, just necessarily. I don't think that it would be the best for people who don't really like like scent based products or at least very overwhelming scent based products now you saw it was a cream it was like a liquid when I first started this is what it looks like now after rubbing across my face mm -hmm. all right once getting it all over your skin then you can go ahead and rinse it off something in my bathroom fell but so this I have this little cute rag this did not come with the, um with how to beauty stuff this is actually something that I got from Marshalls this is a cute little rag that you just can you know wipe your face off you can also use it as like a makeup remover like you just put some of your product on here you could also just wipe it on your face 
but that's not what we're talking about today so but I'm just wiping it off right now oh, it off patting my face After I use all of these, I will be giving a thorough opinion of all of my products on the stuff that I've used. Next, I will be using the Get Even Rose Oil. Sorry, the focus is not setting in, but I will put all the products in the description box below. So again, this doesn't really have much of a description, but it says it has rose, carrot seed, rose hip, and biobub. Not sure what that is, but it's just a, a oil. Put a little dabs in your face. Sorry. So just like the enzyme scrub, this has a very, very strong scent, and yeah, a very, very overwhelming scent, I must say. Um, when I give my review on it, I will explain more of how, how it smells to me. But let's get into the moisturizer. So this is the J Honey Balm Jelly Moisturizer. And it has lavender, honey, niacinamide, I really hope I'm saying that right, and turmeric. So this, can't really tell, but it kind of looks like it has, like, glitter in it, sort of. Um, it's white, but it kind of, I don't know if it's a container or what, but it kind of looks like purple. Like really light purple well let's see let's go ahead into it so this is how much I took with my hand yes there's definitely a hint of some color in this and it definitely has some sort of glitter into it my hands yes even when you put it against your skin you can see that it does have like a scent like a hint of some color in it right back with you to do my final review on the product all right so I'm finished and I am about to give my opinions on the product so first of all as I've used it my skin feels fine I don't feel like any rash or burning so I don't I don't have like any allergic reaction to the product at all but Overall, on my opinion of it, I will probably give it about a 6. And the reason why I'm giving it a 6 is just because I genuinely feel that putting these scents maybe in it may not be the best because only a specific amount of people can really use this. And everybody, a lot of people's skin is very sensitive and a lot of people cannot use like scent based products and the scents in these products are very very overwhelming these are just the three that I got and I believe she does have more with the, um, the skincare line but overall just these three I do not believe that a lot of people can use these you know I believe that the enzyme like I said products in general I believe that they're very good enzyme scrub did very well I scrubbed it on my face you don't really have to use a lot just put it on there and you scrub it into your face because you feel it working and then you wash it off very very good I don't think I would buy this again just based on the fact that it smells but overall I do believe it is a great product if you do not have any allergic reactions and you do not mind uh, like scent based products I absolutely condone buying this absolutely I do um on the rose oil I have had like rose oil scent stuff before 
and the scents are not very strong I do like I do like oil-based products because I said my skin is very very dry but the carrot seed that's in it I do believe that it is so overpowering and I'm not gonna lie it kind of made me a little nauseous just like I said just based on the scent because of how overwhelming it was honestly if it had no scent I would give these a 10 out of 10 but the scent I'm sorry it's just not working for me so again if it didn't have any sense I would absolutely buy it again I do not believe that I'm going to use this again but I'm not saying that her that the wishful skincare line is bad at all I probably will try and see if there's if there are any other products in there that I can try but that the scents just don't work for me this honestly I probably dislike this the most for many reasons the color I feel, I feel like this is something that my daughter would probably like to use like I don't know if you guys remember like these like little pony kind of like skincare jelly things that you can put on your face that's kind of what this reminds me of the color in it and the glitter I feel like why why do why put that on somebody's skin why uh i just i i don't like it and i said the scent the lavender is very very overwhelming it's just as strong as that carrot seed and the rose oil is so overwhelming i do like lavender products i like the smell of it but just too much you know too much it just makes you want to push away just too much um yeah and the product itself is i was putting it on my skin it didn't really feel like it was doing like moisturizing my skin well honestly and I just felt like it was kind of just like oh, this is gonna sound so bad but it really kind of reminded me of like those lotions that you would get from Bath and Body Works like it feels good on the overall surface but on the inside like your skin inside still felt dry and that makes sense like it just did not feel like it was actually doing anything like inside my skin on the outside it felt like okay putting it on but it's like I feel my skin still feels dry and I am not putting down the brand I'm not putting down I'm not putting down uh, Wishful I'm not putting down Hada Beauty I'm not putting down any of that I do believe that she puts a lot of products I actually have other products of hers it's just that these for the skincare I just think that the scents were a really really bad idea and I don't know if any other people have these issues but I do believe that putting scents in product like overwhelming scents is not really a good thing because a lot of people are allergic to scents on their skin it does really really bad for them because the, the oils and the perfumes that they use inside of it can really counteract against some people's skin so for me you know what maybe six was a bad I would probably give it like a like a seven and a half yeah not about, about a seven and a half I like I said the enzyme scrub and the oils I like them just the scents did well the the moisturizer for me that's really what brought it down but if you guys don't have any problem with scents I highly authorize using the wishful I do it's it is good um moisturize and use at your own caution like I said it really depends on how your skin takes it for mine my skin is very dry so I do look for products that actually really moisturize my skin and not just the overall of it like the, the look of it I like to really wear moisturize inside of my skin so I cannot use these products but for people who don't really have really dry skin yes and people who don't have problems with scents I do authorize you to use these that was my review on the Wishful Skincare line. I hopefully I will be doing more reviews. I don't really like filming re like skincare reviews because the bathroom in here is very very loud and <laughs> I just I just don't like and the lights in here is very very bad. So if you guys would like me to do more skincare, I will do it. But for now, I don't think I would do it just because of the lighting and the sound in the bathroom. But 
make sure you like subscribe and comment for future videos it's a new year and i'm excited i'm excited what 2021 is going to bring us so far i must say doing pretty well love you guys